Happy New Year and welcome to Apex Instant Tips, episode number 96, brought to you most Fridays at 12.05 Eastern Time. I'm your host, Anton, and we have with us today a very special guest, Hayden. Welcome. Always a great to be here and a happy epiphany, um, Anton. Ah, thank you very much. We were just talking about uh, the, the meaning of this and uh, the, the great traditions involved. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, a galette as soon as possible. Yes, it's the uh, sort of marks the last day of like Christmas festivities in my book. Yeah, excellent. Um, well, I hope everybody uh, had a great break. And Hayden, um, as is often the case, I've done nothing to prep for today. Uh, what do we have? Anything on your end? Yes, um, I am going to uh, pick up on some uh, tips we've already covered, but like with a new spin. Uh, does, does anybody need to go back and watch another episode before they jump into this one? Not at all. We're going to reference something that, that we touched on in episode 26, which is automations, but it's not homework. Uh, it's, uh, but, but I think people will find this new tip relatable and um, uh, a nice reminder. Great. Well, we've only got five minutes. Um, why don't we share your screen, kick it off. Hi to the folks that are on the, online. We actually have, believe it or not, a, a listener or two today, Hayden. Excellent. <laughs> and, and this tip comes from a place of honesty because like, I, I recently had to solve this for myself. So let me go ahead and kick off this timer. Those are definitely the okay. best tips, the ones that you actually needed to, to do in the last right. week. <laughs> so the, the starting premise is you have a query or a table in production that um, uh, collects critical data that you want to know about as soon as possible. So here I have Please. this this table that that captures unaddressed, uh, like catastrophic failures that that need to be solved. Right, and so I I create I, with these I create a subs an IR subscription. I look at them every morning. It's like the first thing on my list. I actually have a couple that come in. Um, so there yeah, you go. So, We're done. Uh, you you went ahead and and suggested the, the first um, uh, uh, stop in, in the in, in the puzzle. So. If I wanted to monitor this, as you suggest, Anton, what should I do? Just actions, subscription. Um, I love the new little feature. It came out, I don't know how long ago, but only send it to me if there's data. Perfect. Yeah, that's so critical, yeah. So this is wonderful. Uh, I wish this was the solution to my problem, but um, daily is not it, it is not a high enough frequency. I want it every 15 minutes. I want it every hour. Like I need to know more quickly than within a day. Oh, that's a problem then. Um, what do you have? So, as as I um, teased at the top of the episode, uh, the solution is automations. Um, I think uh, people don't often um, think of it because it feels less declarative, but it does solve the problem. So, well, uh, it, again, it, I do think of it as less declarative. Are we going to be able to do it without writing any code at all? Yes, actually. Um, so, uh, so uh, the, my table is production errors, and so. I uh, I guess I do have to write some code because um, I recommend doing uh, an email template. So here I have this email template that I've created that really isn't worth a lot, but it was very easy to create. Uh, but it just makes things slightly easier, and I always oh, and, and we're calling uh, the HTML. Popular with it. And we're calling the yeah. HTML the code here. Okay, I think exactly. That's yeah. So it, this barely counts as as non declarative. Okay. So um, uh, and that's like a minor detail in the scheme of things. So you created so an account template automation. and that, that template just says you've got, you've got this message. So, okay. Yeah. Great. So um, I'm going to call this prod error. Um, I want it scheduled like uh, very frequently. I want it to depend on a query and I want it, let, let's do every hour. Okay. Uh, my table is production errors. And I only wanted to execute when rows are returned. And then let, let me make this active. And I, it has preceded this with an action. I want the action to be to send me an email. Right. So, uh, so that's, so I'm just going to call it send email. Oh, and this is the trick. Send email. I mean, this essentially is the tip here. So, and then right. uh, I come down here, I, I pick my template. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and hard code my own email. But you could easily here. do it to a mailbox, like support at insum.ca 
or as we do, we, we usually just send it to Mishka at incomes.ca. That's our, yeah, I, our I, I plan. my important email to Mishka. Um, yeah. And that is it. That's it. Yeah, we're done. That is, With that is that, brilliant. Uh, and 30 seconds to spare. Um, yeah. And um, uh, a, a lot of the, uh, we, we can cover some of the, the finer details at this point. So uh, this will execute when rows are returned only once instead of, but I could do it for each row. Um, mm -hmm. I could also um, uh, improve my template to actually capture the details of the production errors. Currently it's just a, 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 an email that says there are production errors and here's a link to the application. But I could actually print this contents to it. Oh, wow. Um, I can add a where clause to my table. Right. Um, so if you only wanted unresolved errors or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, now we, um, I guess now we can chat for 40 seconds. Yeah. Well, automations are just amazing in this regard. There's so much you can do with them. Um, yeah. I, I'm using an automation um, right now to, I've got a whole bunch of um, REST services that synchronize data. Um, but I want them to happen one after the other in a very specific order. So instead of scheduling the REST data synchronizations, I just cut, created an automation with one um, uh, bit of code to, to kick off each of those synchronizations in the right order. So yeah, lots of, uh, I think automation is just, it's all stuff that we could have done over the years, but it makes it so easy. Yeah. And the, um, yeah, so, so just to like put a bow on my little story there, I think that people uh, perhaps are, are stuck in the mindset that to to go from an interactive report subscription to an automation is like quite a lift in terms of having to like write code or think things through, but it's really very declarative. And so it's not that much more work to create yourself an automation. Yeah. And it's compared to DBMS scheduler. It's so much easier. Um, we have a question here, Hayden. Um, what do you think? That's correct. Yeah, so um, uh, if you do uh, for each row, you, the action will be triggered for each row of the um, uh, resulting query. So if there were 10 rows, you'd get 10 emails. Um, yeah. Theoretically, you can reference the data in each row, right? So you could, if, if each row had a um, the, the email address of the person the email was supposed to go to or something like that, you could send it to the right person. Uh, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean that's uh, that's great. Um, I you know I, I forget sometimes how easy the automations are. I, I still occasionally will fall back to a DBMS scheduler job, but you know the automations. And, and I think we can all like see the potential of this because uh, there are so many things that we want to monitor in production, um, and uh, once a day is not fast enough. Yeah, well. Um, that is, we, we clearly hit it within five minutes. I have just a joke and nothing more. So um, That's right. I can just share this with you. Um, here we go, Hayden. Why do mermaids wear seashells? I give up. Because B shells are too small and D shells are too big. <laughs> It may be a very English centric uh, for, for folks whose <laughs> original language isn't English. Um, it's good. Have, have fun go Googling that. <laughs> um, yeah, I, um, uh, and, and who knows if the uh, sizing lettering system is, uh, is American or otherwise. Yeah. Right, I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, that was my bad dad joke uh, of the week. I liked it. It was uh, just the right amount of racy for this show. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Well, uh, with that, um, we've wasted a perfectly good uh, nine minutes of people's time. Uh, good way to kick off the, uh, the new year, get it done quickly. Uh, I don't know if I'll be around next week or not, but do all the things you're supposed to do and we'll find out next week. Yeah, let's find out. Okay. See you, everybody. Bye-bye.